As many of you know, older BMWs suffer with a little problem where the rubber on the handles get sticky and nasty and just deteriorates. It's gross. Well, bad news today. It's affecting the F30, but the good news is we're going to show you how to fix it. Hey, this is Brian. Thanks so much for watching Keys Motorsports. If you like our videos, give us a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com. Yes, it's true. The problem is now affecting the F30. Now, this is my passenger side handle, and as you can see, just by simply pressing the trim tool, I can peel the rubber off like fudge, and it's disgusting. Um, so today, what we're going to do is we are going to show you how to replace the door handles in your F30 with the all-new Keys Motorsports ABS and polycarbonate direct replacement handles. So here we can see a side-by-side -side of my BMW OEM one um, with the deteriorating rubber and also our, our new one. So as you can see, these are very durable and these are just very gross. I was actually holding it a couple minutes ago and the rubber is just peeling off. It's like tar. Um, some people say it's caused by hand lotion and some other things, but uh, I don't use hand lotion, so this is disgusting. Um, but anyway, it's a pretty quick and easy process to do, so you're going to need a trim tool, a T20, possibly a T25, and I'm going to show you how to do it on one door. It's the exact same process through every door, so let's get started. To begin this process, you are going to need a trim tool, and we are going to remove the handle. Now, as we said earlier, this is the exact same process on all four doors in the F30. So what you wanna do is, on this seam right here, I like to start at the bottom. Again, it's normally just in case you nick the rubber, um, but <laughs> it's not really a problem on this one. So there's a little groove down there. What I like to do is just very gently start to release all of these little clips. Now, my handle is gonna come off a little bit easier than yours may because I've taken mine off probably like 100 times. So. Full disclosure there, and then I'm gonna take this out, pull it out through there. So as you can see, there's a top clip that holds it in place. There's a series of these clips which are supposed to stay on the door handle, but we're gonna move those over anyway. Then there are these little clips on the side, and there's a big one down below. Then what you need to do is you need to remove the T20 screw that's here and the T20 screw that's down here. So at this time, you can take care of that. Then what you can do is get a little bit wider trim tool and what I like to do is I like to start down here and start to just work your way across. Now my door is already a little bit loose because it's come off a thousand times. <laughs> and then just slowly work your way up. Pop it, always be very careful around here because this is going to swing. You never wanna go too hard because you can rip it, rip it off. So you release the clips, pop that through just like that. Then what you can do is just pull down here and rock that up just like that. First, we're going to disconnect our ambient light up here. And then you can disconnect the light down below. Now, as you'll notice with our replacement handles, we're gonna give you four of these little T20 screws to secure it in place. Now, when you look at the BMW one, you will notice that they use these like melted plastic rivet things to hold them on. So, you're gonna need to drill them out. So there are two up here that you're going to need to drill and you don't have to go crazy. Just like that. The end will pop off. Again, just like that, nothing serious. And then you do the one next to it right here. Same thing, the top will pop off, just like that. And then there are two other spots we need to drill out. There's one in this hole right here and one in this hole. The only problem is with the driver's door, the driver's door is um, the most difficult by far is you need to remove the main window control switch. So the way that this is held in is there's two little pegs that secure the back in place and then there's a little clip from the front. Now some people like to go in from the front. I don't really like to put a trim tool or a pick tool or anything like that towards the leather and the plastic. I like to do it from the back way. So basically this is going to be nearly impossible to see because what I'm doing is like right here behind the backing of the door. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you how to do it and then I'll pull it out and I'll explain what I did. So what I like to do is I like to get a pick tool and I like to reach in from behind here 
and there's this little clip that you need to press in. While you have that pressed, you wanna to start to press it out through the top, just like that. Now I know that that was impossible to see what I just did, but basically what it did is I reached my pick tool from behind, I got it in this groove right here, and I pulled this in, and then with my other hand, I popped it out. Um, sometimes people try to go from the front and you get a, a trim tool and you go right under here and try to press it in, but um, that way is just a lot more challenging in my opinion. And this way, there's a lot less chance that anything is going to break. And then to reinstall, what you do is you just slide the back in and then pop that back. But for what we're doing, we need to remove it. So what you need to do is press on this little tab right here and then just gently rock this little lever down. And that'll pull that out, and then we can remove the door panel fully. Okay, so now I can pull this back off. Pull this wire out of here. So when we look in here, which might be very difficult for you to see, the plastic rivets that we need to drill out, there's one right there, and then one right there. So at this time, what we're going to do is we're gonna just drill them out just like we did on the other side. Okay. And a lot of times it'll just pop off like that. And it'll stick to your drill bit. Okay. Number two. Once you've done that, this handle will come off pretty easy. They just pop it off just like that. And as you can see, this one is gross too. Now what you need to do is take all of these little metal clips and tabs and move them over to your new one. So once you have them removed, all you wanna do is just press them into place. Okay, so at this point I have the four main clips. There's just one more down the bottom. Once you have all of the clips in place, what you can do is grab the T20s and we're going to screw in the new one. Now the cool thing is the new one is held in by these little T20 screws. So you don't have to worry about doing anything with melting plastic. This doesn't sound like a lot of fun. So get your handle. Line it up where it needs to go. And then once again, these are T20s. Now you are tightening it to plastic, so you don't want to go crazy tight. Make sure that everything is nice and snug. Now with these two, what you can do is you can set up the screw through this big opening right here, and then that way everything will line up correctly. Then what you can do is you can get your window switch harness, pop it back through that hole right there, we can reconnect our ambient lighting. Then your lighting down below, your puddle light. And what you do over here, you take this little black thing and you hook it and you pull that down. That'll sit just like that. Take that part right there, through there. Then what I like to do is I like to line up the top and just pop that into place. Okay. And take your window control module. Lock that in. And then as we mentioned before, the way that this works is you feed the back in and then you get the front and you'll hear it snap into place. Then at this point, you can pop the rest of the clips in that secure your door in place. Then reinstall those two T20s. Then to reinstall your door handle, you wanna take the top clip, line it up up there, and then just very gently start to clip this in together. Okay, just like that. 
And at this point, the driver's side is completely done. And as you can see, it's not sticky, it's nice smooth plastic, and it should last a very long time. So once you've done that on the driver's side, do the exact same thing on all the other sides. So this is my driver door handle. Um, you can see this is just a, a pretty soft trim tool. Um, you can just see how the rubber literally just scrapes, like it's not sharp at all. Um, it's just like melting away and it's disgusting. So I am super excited. So far it's my favorite mod <laughs> to do that. Um, but if you're interested in these, we do have links in the description and we also have mckeysmotorsports.com. Once again, this is Brian. Thanks so much for watching Keys Motorsports. I hope today's video was helpful, especially if you have nasty handles in your F30 BMW. Once again, if you haven't done so already, give us a like, make sure to subscribe and check us out at keysmotorsports.com for all your BMW retrofit, performance and aesthetic needs. Once again, my name is Brian. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.